Hello, my dear friends. Let's start the experiment today. Schumann frequency resonance in my brain and more frequencies. Welcome to the lab. Okay. Let me introduce you. Today, we are going to make something mobile. A Schumann frequency generator that you can always have with you. You can go in the park in the underground, to the airport, put your interface and you will make people curious. And today's version is really easy and simple because I want to give you a version that's easy. We made it once in another video, but there was a lot of technical equipment involved. But today we make it easy. This is all what you need. I can even put this in one hand. And you have your Schumann frequency generator, the power bank, the interface, all is there. That's all you need. So let me tell you about the details. Let's start with the power bank. We need power. This is the energy. We need this. Then we need a cable. This one for the interface. This is our interface. We put it around our head. I will tell you why. This is the cable that goes to the battery. And then we have our, this is the good thing. Here is everything you need. You have a Schumann frequency generator that creates all the frequencies. It's so easy. It's very easy. We will come to this later. And here we have a small interface. Here we put it to the generator. There we have a resistor inbuilt because of the impedance, we need this. And here we have the socket that we can put our cable to separate both cables. That's all we need. So let's put it together that you can see how this is installed. First, the battery, the cable. Then we put our Schumann frequency generator here, connected with the battery and it's already on. It's generating the Schumann frequency. Can you see it? Here comes the connector. Okay, this is our brain interface. Okay. Okay. Did I get enough power? in my brain <laughs> and then we connect it to our interface here and we are connected and we also have to measure whether something comes out let's switch it on just for a minute to see okay it's producing the sine wave. This is what we need. So first I plug it off and then I will explain to you what we are going to do here. With this Schumann frequency generator, we are able to generate several frequencies in between 0.02 hertz until 100,000 hertz. This means super low frequency and also very high ultrasound. And we have two outputs. We have an audio output where I get the signal and the sine wave also goes directly in the coil. But we don't need this because we are using today our brain interface. The upper parts of these frequencies are not part of this experiment today. We go to the deeper frequencies. And let me give you a short overview of these frequencies. First, we have these gamma waves, 30 hertz and above. So this means high activity, high alertness. We don't have to test them because you are nearly the whole day in this state. Then comes the beta waves, 30 hertz to 13 hertz. What means mental activity, not a lot of stress. And I think we can start with them. Then we have the alpha waves, 13 hertz to 8 hertz, calmness. 
this brings us closer. Then we come to the theta waves. This is what we want. They go from 8 hertz to 4 hertz. And our Schumann frequency is exactly in this range, 7.83 hertz. This is why these Schumann frequencies are so interesting. They are in the theta waves. And we even go a little further in the delta waves from 4 hertz to 0.1 hertz. This means deep sleep. So let's start with the beta waves, 30 to 13 hertz. And I think it's good to stay in the middle, 21 hertz. 21, activated. Can you see it? 21 hertz. We have the sine wave. And now let's check the waveform is here. Good. So let me see what I feel. High alertness. Probably I'm already alert. So I feel nothing. Okay, let's go deeper to the alpha waves from 13 to 8 hertz and let's choose 10. 10 is a good option. 10 hertz. Will this produce calmness? Probably when I'm thinking on calmness. I already get calm just by intent. Yes, I'm really calm. <laughs> I'm really calm. Now we go to the theta waves from 8 to 4 hertz. Let's use the Schumann frequency, 7.83 hertz. We have it. This is the Schumann frequency. And my brain is in the middle of my brain interface. I don't know what happens. Will I survive this experiment? You are the witness. You can listen to the crows outside. Interesting. Does this mean I have more access to my senses? Probably yes. I didn't hear any sound before. But I think we go a little deeper in this area of the theta waves. Let's go to 6 hertz. Six. This is so easy. You can choose the frequency, put OK, and the electromagnetic field interferes with my brain. I feel way more calm than before. Absolutely. Is this just by self-hypnosis or is it the real effect? To get more clear about this, I think I have to repeat this more often. It feels good. I mean, when there's a certain electromagnetic field and our thoughts are also energy, for sure they have some effect on each other. They intermingle with each other. And I think it's time to go to the delta waves from 4 to 0 0.1 hertz. So we choose 2 hertz. This is simple, just 2 hertz. Okay. You see this really widespread wave. 2 hertz. This means two vibrations in one second. And I'm exposing my thoughts to this electromagnetic fields. 
when I fall asleep, it feels different. I cannot explain this. Do I talk slower than before? It seems as everything is okay. No need to think something. And I think I'm directly in my awareness. I have no desire to think on problems. Just to feel that I am. I am is already enough. No hurry. Yes, no hurry. And as I visited the delta frequency, let's go back to the Schumann frequency. 7.83 hertz. Okay. We are in the theta waves. This is not that low. It's just 2 hertz. I just can see what I feel. What internal effect this will produce, I don't know. Will this change the way my hormones are created? And the problem is, what about the long-term effect? I'm doing this now for several minutes. When I do it several times a day, over weeks, months, this might be interesting. Because when we go to the gym one day, not a lot of things happen. But when we go there half a year, we change our body drastically. And this will change the mind. Concentration, healing, so many things. This means I cannot give you all the details after this short experiment. We have to do it over a certain time. Yeah, how do I feel with exposed to Schumann frequency? My brain is directly in the electromagnetic field. It must be way stronger than just being exposed to the coil of this generator because I'm in the generator. The good thing is I survived for now. When I still produce videos the next days, then you know, I survived this experiment. Okay. Will I go up again? No. I stay. I stay in this mode. <laughs> Let me get rid of my uh, interface. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You didn't leave me alone. I didn't have to do the experiment just alone in the lab. You were the witness. Now you know how you can do it. And as I said, all the equipment, excluding the oscilloscope, is mobile. You can use it. You can go to the beach, to the river, put your interface on, choose any frequency, and then just enjoy the matrix the self-built matrix. Thank you so much for watching. And here's way more stuff in my archive. I have a Schumann um, frequency playlist. You will find even more experience. Thanks for being here. My archive is waiting for you.